Hey everybody, welcome to week eight. I uh, appreciate you working with me in terms of my YouTube links uh, since my laptop died. Um, for this week, we are mainly focusing on the chart on page 230. Uh, there we have three main strategies for implementation. Um, we need a strategy of proper pre-implementation, um, organizing the implementation itself, and then managing the process. Once we have those under wraps, we get to the uh, review and enhancement section, which uh, kind of completes the full process of implementation. Um, kind of based on what uh, was said in the lecture and what Alfred has to say, um, I'm kind of thinking that the pre-implementation stage is uh, the one um, that you really need to nail and get down in order to guide the whole process um, and to be successful there. Because without the proper people in place, um, both as leaders and as implementers, um, you're gonna go nowhere real quick. Uh, so one example that kind of is off the top of my head um, is uh, we just recently got a new basketball coach, right, at our school. And um, he came in the uh, in the fall, he did his recruiting and he started the uh, season and they started essentially, they lost like seven games in a row. So they didn't have any wins. Uh, he was yelling and screaming at uh, the top of his lungs during these games. Um, and essentially just there was no buy-in. Uh, the players didn't seem to want to be there. They didn't know what was going on. And essentially this uh, coach was just yelling and yelling and just getting more and more frustrated. Uh, it didn't actually result in them um, changing the way that they played. Uh, and it just kind of led to more frustration. Um, as the season kind of has gone on, he has gotten less and less vocal uh, and they seem to be improving on the court, which would make me assume that there is better sense of communication going on. Um, just kind of an example that I've been kind of thinking about that kind of relates this week to the idea of having the right people in charge. So not saying that people can't change, but if you have strong leadership from the start, people who believe in the project, who see the full vision of what you're trying to do, it's going to be easier for them to actually implement the strategy um, rather than having people who maybe um, say that they're in in uh, a good position to lead and they just really aren't or even those that are um, at the start of their career or too close to retirement where they just don't have that experience or they have uh, don't have that willpower or that drive to take on a large scale uh, project of implementation. Um, as far as uh, the specific steps um, that Alfred lays out, he wants to make sure that we have uh, proper leaders, um, a proper overall approach, uh, just exactly the parameters of this project and what it's going to entail, um, and then who's going to be actually involved with it uh, in terms of um, the widespread implementation on campus. So for the basketball uh, example, um, it started off where it was just essentially seemed like it was just this one coach and it was him versus everybody else. So that's kind of more of a uh, centralized approach where um, if you have the team coming up with plays, um, they're working with the assistant coach, the assistant coaches are working with the head coach, everybody's kind of together, that would be more of a decentralized approach. So kind of hammering those details out before you actually start planning um, is going to be key in making sure that uh, you don't start off on the wrong foot. Um, as you go down the road and you go towards the organizing, um, you know, thinking about how uh, different strategies are going to be put into action. Um, there's certain other things to consider, um, and there's certainly things that can go wrong there too. But I think in order for a strategy to um, at least have a chance at proper implementation, you have to have the right people involved and you have to have the right plan set out from the start. So um, curious to see what you all think and uh, good luck on the rest of the class.